Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Smith School. Today, I am bringing you Monk Monday number 133, I'm pretty sure. For those of you who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, I go through everything, your cooldowns, your teammates' cooldowns, twos, threes, RBGs, solo shuffle, Mythic Plus, rating, Miss Weaver, Windwalker, it really doesn't matter. Any MMR, I don't care. Just send it in, and I think it's one of the best ways to learn in WoW. If you're too shy, please find some recording software and watch your gameplay back, and you'll you'll see any, every mistake you make, and you'll be able to prove so much faster, I swear. So today we have Nico, who says that they are a 2100 experienced monk at 1850, 1950 this season. I've been watching your videos and streams for a long time now. I appreciate it, as you might be able to hear in the video. I appreciate that. I do mute it just because you never know, but I do appreciate that. And I hope you find uh, time to critique my gameplay. I can step my gameplay up a notch. Of course, of course, yes. So it looks like we have twos. I've just did some twos. It looks like we're playing with a demon hunter. I just did some twos with a demon hunter as well. So I do have some experience with this. Holy Pally demon hunter is a little annoying, but let me see what talents you're playing. Let me see. Oh, we're playing gnome. I mean, gnome, gnome's where it's at, you know what I mean? Where's, uh? I thought I saw our talents. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, the arrows don't, uh, okay. Um, so the only thing is disarm. I would have actually stayed Zen sphere because disarm doesn't do much versus demon hunters that know that they can, when they do their backflip ability, uh, it completely, it like dispels disarm off of them. So I don't normally run disarm versus demon hunters just because they can, they can basically make it not do anything, but that's okay. Um, disarm should be fine. Just whenever, if you are going to disarm, just disarm meta. I think that's the biggest thing that you can do. And then outside of that, you're going to just try to stay far away. I would actually play Song of Chiji potentially. I, you know what I would do? Is if this demon hunter goes on your demon hunter, you should, they, your demon hunter should hit the pally. Um, that way your, your demon hunter is cleaving everybody. So that's what I would do. That would be my strat. But I do like we're playing that with Storo. Good. We're playing Eminence to avoid NCC or damage on us. Um, I do like the Blizzard Bear. I think that's a really cool mount. We immediately just stun the Demon Hunter. This is good. Get our hots out. This is a really good hunt from their Demon Hunter. So this gives be some damage. Um, I do like that we're going on the Demon on the Holy Pally though, just because you can cleave both of them. Uh, blur from your Demon Hunter there, and Meta. We gave the Holy Pally a precog. So it's low, and we so and we wrap. Let me see. Oh, for some reason I can't go backwards. It's, there we go. Let's go backwards. Um, can I pause? Okay, good. Uh, we get precog to the holy pally, and then the holy pally immediately starts casting rep. I would recommend. We do have the havoc demon on focus. I would probably put the holy pally on focus and. This is UI. It doesn't, I mean, if it's your UI and it works for you, it's fine. Uh, and then put like the cast bar right here just because it's easier to see repentance. I bear, I couldn't even see repentance because of the nameplates. That's what I use when I'm like looking at the, at like the arena. I, I just stare at nameplates and all that, but it's kind of hard to see the repentance. Um, so I would just put the Holy Pally on focus to cast the repentance. But we did give the Holy Pally um, precog as well. So uh, this repentance is on you. I see that we saw it right towards the end, which is okay. Maybe we're playing reverse. No. Uh, Pally's going to hodge you. This is this is okay. Uh, Trinket from your Demon Hunter is fine. It's twos. It's fine. Um, but be careful. As long as one of your Trinket should be okay. Uh, there's the backflip. So if you, that backflip right there is if, so if your demon hunter ever gets disarmed, they just backflip out of disarms. Um, but it looks like we are hunting. There's the hunt on their demon hunter. Blur from their demon hunter as well. And we're just trying to essence break as essence break from their demon hunter. Um, be careful. We give precog again to the holy value. So whenever, whenever I keep trying to pause it. Whenever I see that the other teammate or the other healer has precog and it's like an Arju with the spell clones uh holy pally with repentance um a shaman with hexes and stuff like that i immediately dive for a pillar because even though you know maybe they just spam healing you never know so good job here of knowing that you know or maybe we're already going to it it doesn't matter um so repentance and then the holy pally gets precog immediately dive i mean just run for a pillar. That way you can line any CC. So just immediately dive for the pillar. Good job here. So we're lining any repentance on us or anything like that. And the pally walls there again. So I think we're doing good. Good. All right. Stunned. 
yeah, we haven't gotten a leg sweep on anyone yet. Repentance on you breaks to the demon hunter damage. I'm pretty sure that's Elysian's decree from one of the demon hunters. And I think we're just doing a good job. That's done there from the, your demon hunter. Not worth stunning at all right now, just because the holy pally is super DR'd. Demon hunter is DR'd. When you leg sweep, you want to try to get two leg sweeps. A blur as well from. I think that's your demon hunter that's blurred. So overall, we're doing a pretty good job of staying alive. Our mana's looking pretty good. We have we're using our mana tea, which is really nice. And yeah, good job getting your two set. That's the hunt coming out. Careful with this positioning. Yeah, good. I'm glad that you demon hunter and noticed that they were kind of low us. So that's really good work there. Good and felt missed out. Holy Pally's drinking a little bit. Holy Pally's will most of the time beat you on mana. Um, because they have utility. That's a bop. That's the first bop on the demon hunter. And that's a blur from their demon hunter coming down. And we're Hodge right now. Trinket. So what? I wonder why did we life cocoon? It's just the positioning. Th this positioning is just really, really rough for you. Um, ideally, you don't. I don't know. This is hard. I, if your demon hunter is hitting their demon hunter, then it's then I would just have your demon hunter position out here. But I think your demon hunter is trying to push in on the other holy pally. So. Yeah, it's just awkward, and then you get Hodge, and then you got Trinket Cocoon. So that's kind of that's kind of a misplay, just positioning wise. I don't think that was more on you. Good in cap here on the Demon Hunter. Sweep off if you can. Beautiful Trinket. What was that? Oh, was it Super Diard or was it no? Hmm. Weird. I don't know how that was uh, so short. Forbearance is down on the Demon Hunter now, so they'll be able to get a second Bob if they want to. If the Demon Hunter goes you, I feel like you win, but. Uh, yeah, good. I'm glad that yeah, disarm on the demon hunter there is really good. Your de your demon hunter is hitting them. Stop on the holy pally drink is really really good. Um, but yeah, no, we're doing a good job here. Good work, good work. Nice blur, good stun on the demon hunter. Awesome. Yeah, we're doing a really good job. Demon hunter swaps to you. Good in cap here. It's dr, but that's okay. I, just a little creating a little d space is really nice. Uh, kicked. Nice four through here. Also, just keep in mind, yeah, good. I was gonna say you could use manatee while you're uh while you're kicked. So good sweep there too. Rop. Oh, you kind of wrapped him towards you. I would have wrapped him just a little I hate that. I can't go back here. Um Let me see. So yeah, really good leg sweep here, especially since there's no blur, it just sticks. And then I would have wrapped like here. Or like it got in a go around the pillar and wrap here. That way it's really hard for him to get to you. But we wrapped him towards us. Good stun on you. We have no outs. We have port. We have eminent. Oh, we're stacking on a port. And we got bubble from the from the holy pally, which is really good. Hunt on you. Life cocoon is a fair trade with the hunt. Yeah, this is fine. Your demon hunter has darkness and blur and nether. Or blur is coming back up in nether. So I think we're doing a good job. Essence break on them as well. Make sure you it's just the positioning is kind of getting brutal. Yeah, good. Good. Envelope mist here. Good. Make sure you get two set up. Beautiful. Good. You have instant vivify. Yeah, you have instant vivify too, so don't be afraid to use that. That's really helpful um, if you just need, if you don't want to waste the global on soothing this. And yeah, that it's really nice. Hodge on your demon hunter uh, is fine. Always try to make sure you're getting that two set out with renewing mist as well. Incap on you. Stun on the holy pally. Maybe I'm not seeing it, but maybe maybe they have no trinkets or something. I don't know. Good healing. Good work. Nice, good. Renewing mist. Wall from the Holy Pally. So this is exactly what I was talking about at the start. If the Demon Hunter is hitting your Demon Hunter, I would just have him hit the Holy Pally. That way he's clearing both. That was the shield from the... I think it used to be Saved by a Light, but I don't know what it's called now. Sweep here is really insane. Stun. Good stun off that from your Demon Hunter. I think that's Chaos Nova. And we're just... Yeah, no, we're doing a good job healing. Yeah, the key, I would keep hitting the Holy Pale. That's second Bop and Darkness, so they overlap there. Reposition your port right now as well is uh, is another thing I would do. So I would put my port like here. Let's see if you do it. No. I would put my port down like right here because at any moment, honestly, at any moment, this team can just decide to be like, Let's go to Mistweaver. And one of the hardest things that to deal with is Hodge from Holy Pally's just because it's a long stun. And Demon Hunters have a lot, a lot of damage. So if they coordinate, they could probably kill you if you're out of range of your port and you don't like pre-defuse or pre-dampen. 
Um, the demon hunter is casting the hunt though, so let's be ready to heal this. We do have revival if we need it. We use life cocoon, which is fantastic. And I think right now we're kind of ahead. I would say that we're ahead. Um, that's trinket from one of them. Freedom as well. Hand of divinity. And I think good Yulon here. Can I try to get an envelope missed out? Oh, we'll incap. I would incap the holy pally. If you could, I, I would definitely incap the Holy Pally when your Demon Hunter is CC'd. That way they can't recover as easily. Um, but yeah, your Demon Hunter is just cranking damage on anybody. That's the hunt from us. That's revival. Good. Trying to CC the Pally, which is insane. Yeah, if we can get incap, beautiful. That's another walk from their Demon Hunter. Swap to the Holy Pally. That was a really DR leg sweep. So let's try not to. Oh, no, that was a hunt from. Was that a hunt from them? No, that was a hunt from us, right? Yeah, and they blurred. And then, yeah, this this uh, this sweep is triple DR2. Nice in cap. And then it, it, literally in two seconds, two and a half seconds, it would have been a full leg sweep. It would have been insane. But um, it was triple DR, which is not ideal. Um, blur from your Demon Hunter is really good. In cap on the Demon Hunter. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind this because the Holy Pally is starting to oom. Um, so I would just have them both stacked up and cleaving and just focus on keeping your Demon Hunter alive. We have Trinket. We should have Trinket. We have Trinket in five, Life Cocoon in five. So we, we have cooldowns. I, the, the Repentance coming in hot. Ooh, I think we could have ported this. Could we have ported this? Let me see. Uh Oh, we're out of range of our port. Where do we reset our port? Over here somewhere? It must have been over here. Because this would be in range. Life Cocoon. I guess Life Cocoon before the rep. Life Cocoon before the rep is pretty good. That way you don't have to use Trinket. But also you could have uh, ported that as well. Incap on you. Nice. Nice incap here. Move no sweep for 10. Wings from the Holy Pally. Searing Glare from the Holy Pally. The Hunt from your their Demon Hunter. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of damage. We have Darkness. We have Nether. Darkness and Nether. Blur and 8. As well. Nice sweep. Nice trigger sweep there on the Holy Pally. Bubble from the Holy Pally too. Careful of any CC coming on you. <clears throat> Big healing. Nice darkness. We get repful. Yeah. So you need to always be careful. Oh, that's why you always want to be in range of your port uh, at all times. Let me see. Do we live? Oh my god. Do they? Do we kill? In cap. Oh. Nice. Okay. Cast Nova. Revival, good. Sack from the Pally can't do much versus that. Unless you have Sweep. If you have Sweep, you could stun it. But uh, mana-wise, nice, good. We're using our mana T right now. We get four stacks. Incap on your Demon Hunter. Nice Tiger's Lust. If we can get any CC on the Holy Pally, maybe an Incap. Nice drop on that. Good. Searing Glare. Try to dispel that if you can. Rep again. Yeah, this is why the, the biggest thing this game. Wait, do we win? Do we win? Yeah, we did. Hell yeah, we won. Good game. The The biggest thing, I think your healing is really good. I think you're, you're using cooldown, which is fantastic. The only thing is staying in range of your port because there's three times. This one right here, it was all towards the end of the game too. When the pally started to rep you a bit more, this time right here, could have ported this. I mean, the, the life cocoon before rep is really good, and I honestly would have done the same thing, I think. Uh, but, also, but if this team decided at any point to like, if this pally decided to hodge you here, or something like that. Like, or if they decide to swap to you uh, from Life Cocoon, uh, this team could have probably killed you, because uh, that's what we did when I was playing with the Demon Hunter. We just swapped to a Miss Weaver and just killed him one one stun. And then there was another time. I think we trinket this Hodge, which is a good trick. I think we trinket sweep the Pally here, and then we get hot. We get repped here, right here. So whenever whenever Pally bubbles or anything, because this was right after Pally bubble, right? I think Pally bubbles. He's actually not in bubble right now. But whenever a Pally bubbles, always try to line instantly because especially if they're playing rep, they're always going to go for the rep because they can't get interrupted every single time. Whenever a Pally reps or like anything like this, you always want to try to look for your port. I don't even know. I mean, your port's got to be close, right? Yeah, your port's got to be. Is this your port? No. I have no idea where you. I think your port is over here or over here, but I don't know where. Always try to stay rid your port because this is a second time. And then I think it happened a third time too. Oh, your port's right here. And then it happened a third time towards the end here. Let me see. Right here. Again. 
Um, we get repped again, which nice Todd, by the way. But keep always, 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 always try to stay in range of port and be aware. I mean, it might be because it's kind of hard to see the cast bar, and that just goes back to putting the the holy pally on focus and tracking what they're casting because I know that there's a lot going on. Um, but it, it being able to just know what the holy pally is casting. Especially if it's repentance is is really really important. Uh, overall, though, I mean, not bad at all. Like really, like truly not bad. I, healing wise, you're great. Outmaned a holy pally pretty much, which is fantastic. Really hard to do, and we were trading cooldowns pretty well. So I mean, yeah, no, good work. Uh, this this game, um, demon hunter matchups are not fun. I'm actually surprised that demon hunter didn't try to hit you more. I'm if they, I would, I'm surprised that it makes more swaps to you more. But I'm glad that they didn't because uh, that, they, it's just so annoying because you can't get away from them. You, you literally cannot get away from Demon Hunters. It's so annoying. Uh, all right, we have a uh, rest of Shaman on Holy DK. So this, the, as far as talents go for this one, I would probably probably play Zen Focus T. Uh, Shaman has Wind Shear. DK has Normal Kick, Pet Kick, and Silence. So they have four ways to stop your healing. Um, let's see. Dis I, I don't mind dropping Disarm for Zen Focus T. Um, actually, I would, I'm not going to lie. I would drop Eminence for Zen Focus T. I don't, unless they're super coordinated and go for Asphyxiate Stun into Hex, there's really nothing. Well, I guess they could Grip. No, I would probably still play Zen Focus T instead of Eminence, I think. I don't think they're going to kill you. And then also, what you could try to do is try to port the Grip as well, which is really important. Uh, it completely shuts down their go. But let's see what we do. Salt, yes, sentence. All right, that's Earthen Shield Totem already, which is pretty good. Hopefully, your Demon Hunter kites him out of the Earthen Shield Totem it would be really nice. Uh, if it if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. That's okay. That was a Sphyxiate Sun too. I think your Demon Hunter immune it, but that was blur already from us too. So Shaman's over here, looking like he wants to do something. Uh, he, doing damage. All right, Stormkeeper. All right, that's fine. It looked like he wanted to like try to shear you. Uh, grip on you. Which, I, again, yeah, this is fine. This is completely fine. Yeah, I, I definitely would have played, like, uh, Zen Focus T here. Last one, you was okay as well. Silence on the Demon Hunter. I don't actually know what Silence does. Nice in cap on the Shaman here. Go, careful of Sweep, just because there is uh, there is IBF. So just keep that in mind. Uh, Link from the Shaman. Oh, my God. Okay. That's really good. That is really, really, really good. Um, and we're just staying 40 yards away, which I don't mind at all. Uh, versus something like this with so many interrupts. Uh, yeah, all you want to do is push in when you have in cap. Just get an in cap. Whenever you see your demon hunter, like fell eruption, stun the DPS or something like that, or kiss Nova the DPS, doesn't matter. Just in cap the healer. That, uh, that's all you have to do. Um, just try to get that consistent CC on the healer. Uh, try to force cooldowns when you can. And that's really, really good. Nice, good job. Reset your port. Healing tide totems out. Nice Tiger's Lust on your Demon Hunter. Good grip on you. Try to something that you can try to start doing is try to port mid grip. It's uh really good and it helps uh helps you stay in position. I think we're in range of a port too here. Just be ready for the grip right here. He's staring at you right now. So right now you could probably port. But I think we're out of range. Yeah, that's fine though. Nice roll away. Nice fell rep just on the DK. Shaman is on in cap DR for two seconds. One. Alright, now we can in cap the the shaman. We're making our way. Could probably gnome ratio if we have it to uh to get to the shaman. Nice KS Nova on the shaman as well. Try to get an in cap off that. That's what we're trying to do. Try to Yeah, if we if there's a way to just get CC on that, you could also drop this this healing wave if we have it. Um but yeah, overall, nice in cap. Good. Oh Shaman just stay behind the pillar. It's kind of nice. And then we just get grip lining, but that's okay. I don't think this is as, as scary as like a frost DK one port out which is this is why you always stay in range of your port fantastic always stay in range of your port um we do have escape from reality as well coming back so you want to use your second port so you get the cooldown reduction um or at least use yeah i would that's what i would do because now it's a 35 second port instead of 25 nice leg sweep here uh it was dear on the shaman i think we could have waited just a little bit let me see i think we just done the the shaman here from your demon, yeah, there's fell eruption. I guess it's it's half. It's not bad. Yeah, that's all right. But he, they got the earthen shield totem down, so it's not gonna be as scary. Um, primordial wave. So there's gonna be some big healing from the resto shaman. Good, good. We're doing miss. Good. Tried to spell the flame shock. Nice job. In cap there. It breaks. It is. Eh, it is what it is. It's all right. Earthen shield totem. 
Make sure you get your two set out on the on the on your demon hunter. That way you get the healing bonus from it. Careful of the sh yeah, careful of the DK kicking you. Versus a comp like this, for anything versus a DK, I always try to stay as far away from them as possible because they have like eight different ways they can grip you, silence you, kick you twice, like uh, blind you. They're they're a nightmare. Oh, pre cocoon here on this grip is interesting. Hex on you as well. I guess this is good. It's fine that they're CCing you into this. Um, or CCing this Tiger's Lust away is really good. And I would honestly, if this is how most matchups are going to be, you could play Song of Chiji as well. Uh, just that way that way you get extra CC. DR in cap from your Demon Hunter there. Stun on the Shaman. This is fine. I think it's fine. I think you want to stun the DK though. Because the DK, uh, I don't think it's getting, it's getting stunned often. Blur from your Demon Hunter. Yulon from you is really good. We have Manatee. Six stacks of Manatee as well. We could probably use that after Chiji. Um, but, I mean, good disarm on the Demon Hunter here. Or on the Death Knight here. And, yeah, we have we have six stacks of Manatee. Nice. Nice. Good. Got Link there. I think that's second Link, too. Backflip away. Silence on you. Usually, so there. I think the Silence is one minute long. Is a one minute cooldown, but you could use disarm while silent. So sometimes I, what I try to do is I try to line up my disarm with their silence. That way you can disarm the DK while you're silenced. Uh, to stop some damage. Shear on you, I think it's is fine. Yeah, I think you're oh shear to hex is not good. But maybe it's fine here. Nice. Good. Good. Yeah, just focus on healing. And by the way, now is a really good time to go for, to get kicked. Like when you're when you're Teammate is fine and healthy. Now that's a good time to get kicks. Good blur. Nice sweep. Trinket. Uh, was that trinket? Yeah, trinket from the shaman. I think that's also AMZ. If we have ROP for it, we could probably ROP it, but I don't think we do. Uh, but we just got a lot of cooldowns there. We just got we have we got link. We got trinket. We got AMZ, and I think we're just cranking right now. So right now is a really good example. Let me see. I I don't think we have in cap right now. I doubt it. But like right now, when you're, whenever your demon hunter, because you don't set up the, you don't set up the kills your DPS do. Um, whenever your DPS stun the kill target, that's when I normally go for incaps. But the rest of shaman's oom, we're fine on mana. We're doing a ton of damage here, so I think we're just gonna, we're probably just gonna kill this DK. To be honest, fell eruption stun, beautiful. Yeah, this game, nothing. Not, I don't, there's nothing wrong with these games. Like, I think you're doing a great job. Um, healing, trading cooldowns, fantastic work. Um, always just try to make sure you CC the healer whenever you see your DPS uh, stunning their DPS or whoever they're going on. Incap, whatever, anything different. Uh, you're doing a great job of utilizing Manatee. We still have Life Cocoon at the end here. No trinket, but we had Life Cocoon. So I think overall this was really good. Um, versus Death Knights, always try to stay far away so you can port the grip. Um, that's just something. It, 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 it's more helpful in threes than two. I think twos is not that big a deal. But in, in threes, it's really nice. You just completely negate their go. And they, uh, they're they not happy about it. I'm trying to see when you got gripped. I thought it was around there, but maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. Hmm. Well, it's some... Oh, yeah, right here, right? I think we get gripped. Yeah, just... Try to play further away from Death Knights. It's not twos is fine. Uh, nice grip on this though, or nice life cocoon. But there was another time where we got gripped, um, and then port mid grip. But besides that, this game was honestly this game was fine. Um, I think your demon hunter, if you play with this demon hunter consistently, needs to stun the DPS. Like coordinate, like fell eruption or chaos over on the DPS, and then you in cap sweep the healer, and then the D the demon hunter can get like a fell eruption stun. On the DPS off the KS number, something like that. Because I think this DK didn't get stunned very often. I think it was mostly um the shaman that was getting stunned. So yeah, there's like no stun DRs on this DK. Yeah, there's one, there's one stun DR, two, three. This whole game. Four. Yeah. So just try to I think we sent a lot of stuns on the yeah, like there's fell eruption stun on the shaman. So I think you just have your D, have your demon hunter focus on stunning the kill target like the DPS and then UCCing and then again I mentioned it but if you're gonna play against melee and they're not really targeting you don't be afraid to like try song of GG it's an extra CC it's pretty good but yeah though no, these games were, were really nice always try to stay in range of your port though and then to outplay death knights just try to port mid grip 
and then stay far away from them. And yeah, no, these were great games. Fantastic job here. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Um, hopefully this was helpful for you or anyone watching or same questions or anything like that. But yeah, that's it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic day. Hope you're the video. I'll see you later.